Hey all you apartment dwellers, I'm sure if you're into bikes and you have one or maybe you're looking for one, there's one key detail that has always been a hassle or maybe a little bit of a burden to navigate when it comes to tiny living and how to store your bike. Well, Cannondale's Compact Neo has two really neat innovations that they've integrated into this bike to help accommodate your type of lifestyle, that tiny living and ways to make this fit and be, well, more compact. Let's get into the specs and find out how this little guy rides. Well, before we get into the nitty gritty on the Compact Neo here, take a second, click subscribe, it would help us out a lot. We're not gonna spam you. Uh, we just offer a lot of bike reviews, gear reviews, and share some really cool experiences like behind the brands and tech checks on new bikes. So if you're into electric bikes, so are we. Join us, click subscribe, and let's get into it. Well, the Cannondale Compact Neo comes in at $1,900. This is a rear hub driven class one electric bike. It uses the Hyena drive unit. So that has a 250 watt motor with a 250 watt hour battery that's integrated into the down tube of the frame there. For a class one bike, 250 watts, this thing cruises. The 20 inch wheels, as far as speed and efficiency go, if you're looking to do distance, you're not gonna see the same numbers as you would on a 29 inch or 700 C wheeled bike. But this bike isn't made for that. It can do it, but this bike's definitely made for urban environments like this. Getting around town, getting from your doorstep to the office, coffee shop, whatever it is. Um, this is meant to be in the city and those 20 inch wheels, high handlebars, it makes it super comfortable. Now the pairing of that 250 watt motor and the 250 watt hour battery with 20 inch wheels isn't gonna be the most efficient bike on the market. It is still able to get, you know, about 40 miles per charge, which for a bike like this, that's designed for downtown urban environments, uh, 40 miles is a lot of riding. I mean, even where I live, it is a good two or three miles to get from my doorstep to downtown. And that's three, four rides before this thing's out of juice. So that means that if I only doing that one commute for the day, I can run this thing and boost and get there easily. Well, the Compact Neo sits on 20 inch wheels, nice spoked wheels that are durable with uh, Kenda K-Rad tires, very BMX inspired. And it kind of has some BMX style handlebars on top. They don't quite have the same rise as typical BMX bars, but they're nice and wide. And with the overall geometry of the bike, gets it up in a very comfortable position. So while you're riding, it has a very upright posture, which makes this bike handle very well. The seat here does lower down into the down tube, but it has a very long seat post, so you can get that up very high. Uh, six feet tall, normal 32 inch inseam for my height. Um, the seat post isn't even halfway up right now. Now I mentioned some similarities between the Compact Neo and the Adventure All-Road Neo that we had on test earlier this year, and that would be the Micro Shift drivetrain and the Tektro brakes. These are Tektro hydraulic disc brakes with a Micro Shift eight speed drivetrain. Uh, most city urban environments, eight speeds is gonna be more than enough gears to get you around, especially at a class one rating. Um, you really are able to play with a very wide ratio eight speed to help get you up those hills. Now, speaking of those integrations I was referring to about making the Compact Neo compact uh, would be the handlebars on the stem there. There is a lever that you can lift forward to rotate the handlebar sideways and the pedals have a quick release mechanism to lower those down to make those flush. Um, that doesn't quite shrink the bike fully, but it allows it to get skinnier, um, which means it can get out of the way. You know, if it's in a hallway or in the edge of your bedroom, uh, maybe on your back patio, being able to shrink things down like that, on top of the fact that it is already a smaller bike, really makes this bike disappear easily. The Compact Neo comes with fenders, both front and rear, as well as a headlight and a tail light. And on the back here, there is a rear rack with a snap it ready system. So you can kind of tuck things in there and let this sprung mechanism help keep them secure. Um, but it is also a standard pannier rack, so you can put bags on the side there. We did try it out with our two wheel gear, kind of pannier convertible backpack, and it fit very nicely on there. That's a, that's a smaller pannier bag, but it's something I can click on very quickly, snap it in place, and then pull it off, turn it into a backpack, and leave this locked up in a bike rack and run a few errands. Now I do want to note something about the design of the Compact Neo that Cannondale was able to offer and it's subtle, but you don't see it done on many bikes, especially under $2,000. And that's the bottle bosses and different mounting options scattered all over this bike. 
On the top tube here, we, there's a bottle boss mount, so you can put a bottle cage up there. There's another one on the down tube, so you can run dual bottle cages for a bunch of water. I know that there are a lot of little top tube pouches that now won't use straps, and you can actually screw those into the bottle boss mount. So there are ways to get accessories onto the frame. Uh, in the back here, as you can see, the rear rack mounts and eyelets for that. And even on the fork, there is room to put some fork cages on there for additional accessory mounting options. Well, that's enough about the specs of the Compact Neo. As you can see, uh, it's from Cannondale. They thought it through. There's a lot going on there. Um, let's talk about the riding performance and how it feels actually pedaling it around because for a lot of you, that's what's most important. Now, when it comes to riding the Compact Neo, uh, before we even talk about making it smaller any more than we already have, it is comfortable. I, I'm a taller person and typically a 20 inch wheeled bike feels small underneath me and doesn't feel very uh, in control. Uh, this bike rides very well and very smooth. I will say on the very steep hills, charging downhill, I found myself drag and brake a little bit more than I do on bikes with 29 inch wheels. A lot of that has to do with that 20 inch front wheel on those very steep hills. Fortunately, really good brakes and those hills aren't miles and miles long for me in my testing, uh, but it is worth noting when it comes to a stability of this bike. On the flats around town, super smooth, super stable. And quite frankly, those 20 inch wheels make this bike fun and playful. Uh, in addition to the fact that they're a wider 20 inch tire, like I said, BMX ish in, in style, it kind of lets you charge onto some potholes and kind of hop around some lips and curbs and stuff uh, very easily without worrying about a little skinny tire just taking an impact on that wheel. As far as weight distribution goes, the Compact Neo is not heavy. Uh, it's very easy to maneuver and there's plenty of great options on the frame to grab it and lift it up if you have to haul it up a staircase. Additionally, that hyena motor in the back there doesn't make the bike super back heavy. Uh, the weight is pretty well balanced and that probably speaks a lot to the integrated battery in the down tube there to help bring weight lower and a little bit more forward. As a whole, when we're trying to think of who the right type of person is for the Compact Neo, I'm sure you've guessed it by now. We definitely think someone that lives maybe in an apartment or somewhere downtown that is densely populated, a dense urban environment. Um, I don't quite live in that environment, but this bike is still fun to ride around. Myself having longer treks typically up front to get to a downtown or get to a riding area, I do favor larger wheel diameter bikes to make that a little bit faster. Um, but this is a class one electric bike, so it does have that pedal assist up to 20 miles per hour. It feels comfortable, it feels stable. The, the, the ride feel feels like a full size bike. So it does make up for that 20 inch wheel size. Overall though, we definitely think that this is a great bike for downtown and being able to shrink it up and collapse it down really is a clutch design feature um, without having to spend extra money to help make this thing fit uh, at home when you're not riding it. On the Compact Neo here, there is two different apps that you can use to work with the Compact Neo. Both apps offer different things and they do offer some of the same things. The Hyena app lets you go into the tuning and create a custom profile on those pedal assist modes. So maybe you do want that full power boost mode to be 100%. Uh, obviously that will impact your range, but it will give you that extra power and might be great if you live in a very hilly area and are looking to have that boost available for the very steep climbs. As an electric bike designed for urban environments, it delivers everything it needs to do very proficiently, very comfortably, and you could trust the micro shift drivetrain, you could trust those Tektro brakes, and that Hyena drive unit is not leading us to believe that it won't perform adequately over time. Well, I'll leave you with one final comment regarding the experience of the Compact Neo, and that definitely lands in that Hyena drive hub motor. And now we've ridden a lot of electric bikes with a lot of different manufacturers on drive units, and this one is very quiet. It isn't quite the quietest we've ever ridden for a hub motor, but it is very quiet, definitely in the top of the pack. Um, so when you are riding it around downtown or maybe you're riding with a friend, it's not obtrusive and it doesn't take away from the ride experience. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. We'll try our best to answer. And if you happen to be a Compact Neo owner and you were here trying to learn something about your bike, if you have an experience or anything to share, be sure to leave that down below. We'd love to hear firsthand from someone that owns one. Uh, if you're looking for more information, head over to the website. We'll have a full write up there with all of the specs available. And of course, Cannondale.com is a great resource to learn about the Compact Neo and any of their other bikes that they have available and also where you can find them for a test ride. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.